Halloween now two days away. It's at the center of what we call spooky season. Many of us thinking about costumes. I'm still thinking about buying candy. Have you ever wondered how the spooky holiday actually came to be? It turns out it dates back more than 2000 years to where? Ireland? That's where we find Travel Zoo's Gabe Saglier live in the middle of one of the biggest Halloween festivals in the entire world. And Gabe, when I heard this, I thought, are you making this up just because I know you love to travel there? <laughs> it's another excuse, right, yeah, for me to I come thought. out of here uh, in October. Uh, but no, would you believe it? Yes, the history buffs know this. Uh, and it's always a fascinating story to tell that the roots of Halloween uh, actually can be traced right back out here to Ireland for sure. Quick history lesson, not only just to Ireland, but to a very specific little hill that I've got a chance to visit. It's known as the Hill of Ward, and it's in an area called County Mead uh, in Ireland. And what, they, what they've done here, Angela, is that they've done archaeological digs. They've done Ooh. carbon dating of remains found here. And they've decided that this is where, more than 2,000 years ago, those very first pagan sacrificial ceremonies known as Samhain back then, Halloween today, would have taken place. And they would have taken place on October 31st because that back then was the end of the calendar year so harvest was done winter was coming mm. and October 31st was the night when the veil between this world and the next would have been at its thinnest meaning the odds that ghosts and spirits could cross over and spooky were at their best mm. uh, people would wear costumes as a way to ward off these spirits right that's the tradition of dressing up for Halloween for example so as the Irish have spread across the world uh, the uh, those traditions those stories have followed them and of course, today that's Halloween to you and me. Okay, so I understand you're in a place called London Dairy for Dairy Halloween. What's going on with that? All right, so yeah, this is the beautiful town of uh, Derry, some known as known as London Derry, as you said, uh, in Northern Ireland. And these walls I'm standing next to, by the way, 400 year old walls, so a lot mm -hmm. of history here. Uh, but yes, this has now become uh, the place for a lot of people from all over the world to come and celebrate uh, Halloween. It started in 1986. This is a five day affair. I've got video from last night when this whole party got underway. So it was called the awakening of the walls. Uh, and it start, started last night. It'll culminate on Halloween night. The crowds get bigger and thicker every night. 110,000 plus people by the time all is said and done on Halloween night. So I'm getting ready for that. Don't take my word for it, Angela. You know who's been here for hundreds of years celebrating the holiday right here is Winifred the Witch. Ooh. She, I will, she'll tell you, this is the place to be. This is the Halloween. home of Halloween. Yeah. It's simply magical. And you, of course, you blend right in. Of and you course. love seeing the, the, the crowds, right? Yes, everyone gets dressed up in creepy costumes. It's fantastic. And on All Hallows' Eve, they have a parade with hundreds of delicious... Oh, I mean, delightful. It's a <laughs> right, that's it. A winner for the witch, everybody, who's, who's been here since these walls were built and, of course, has been celebrating Halloween ever since. She's off to haunt the streets of Derry. I'm going to see her Halloween night. And there she goes, Angela. Oh, she just flew uh, Anyway, off. it's a part, part of, the, kind of the color and spectacle that make, how, makes Halloween such a special uh, event here uh, in a place like Derry. Hey, I'm out of time, but I want to know, you're headed next to a place, is it pronounced Puka? <laughs> it's called Puka. And follow me on social, Angela, because I'm going to be going there uh, October, uh, November 1st. They've got their Halloween celebrations for the weekend. Okay. That is a second festival that launched in 2019. I've been covering it every year. Puka is a mythological Puka. Irish creature, very mischievous, but she has inspired this uh, multi-day festival down in County Meath in the town of Trim, uh, and that's going to be happening through the weekend. So I'm, I'm off there next. I was there for this parade here last year. I'm going to be part of this parade this year. So listen, the, this is a, a week-long affair out here, Angela, okay. because this is where Halloween all began. Have thousands fun of in years ago. Puka, not to be confused Puka with is. Puka. <laughs> all right. Hey, nice to see you, Okay, It's 916. I mean, P-U-C-A could be yes. a lot of things. I just figured maybe they drank too much and got sick. <laughs> Are you profiling the Irish right now, Edge? Maybe. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that, uh, you know, Halloween was basically right? centered around Ireland. Didn't know. Ooh, so pretty cool stuff there. Thanks, Gabe. Uh,